Welcome back to Turtle Whisperers and in today's video we're going to be talking about overheating which is kind of fitting because it's like a 30, 30 degree day in the UK right now so it's quite hot for all of us. I'm currently in the Torts Garden as you can all probably see and um, yeah we talk about overheating so I'll see you in a minute. See you in a minute. Okay guys, so straight off the bat, what's gonna happen to your turtle tortoise if they become overheated? First thing that can happen is they can become lethargic. Okay, so what happens when they become lethargic? Generally, it just means that they don't eat as much or they could stop eating altogether, which as you can probably tell, that can become fatal. Okay, it's a bit like us humans, okay, when we're really hot and bothered, we don't really wanna eat. Okay, same for turtles and tortoises. They can also get heat stroke, similar to us as humans. This can lead to like foaming out of the mouth and vomiting. Again, this could be an emergency vet visit straight away and possibly could be fatal if not treated fast. Okay, so what can we actually do to prevent turtles and tortoises overheating in outdoor enclosures and generally indoor enclosures? Okay, so firstly, what we can do is we can, um, oh, I just broke my light. We can monitor basking, basking temperatures. Okay, so in general for aquatic turtles, I won't speak for box turtles and stuff like that because I don't, I don't have the experience to talk about that. But from my personal experience with aquatic turtles in general, okay, you, you kind of want a basking area temperature of about 34 to 37. Yeah, so it's just to encourage them out of the water, okay, I think my current temperature is sitting about 30 right now because it is quite warm in this, in my turtle shed and it is a very hot day outside. So it's, it's doing all right, keeping the heat out, but it will go down. So let's stick to that. But tortoises, okay. Okay, so for tortoises, okay, so outdoors, uh, adult kind of tortoises, or older juveniles as well okay um, generally the outside temperature in the UK here in the southeast is quite quite nice okay well it's 30 degrees today our summers are normally about 20 and that kind of temperature is kind of it's all right in general for them in their natural habitat in the Greek islands and Mediterranean okay it would be these kind of temperatures or our summer anyway and in the cooler months they seem to do all right as well so i won't comment too much on that but we're heading inside now check the babies guys just while i'm editing i just want to clarify this is for spare fire tortoises okay so like they're one of the kind of green tortoises okay so in here we have our baby spare fires they're very cute very tiny as you can probably see one's munching on some watercress from tesco's and um yeah we want to keep their temperatures about 30, I think it's 30 to 34. Okay, and that is kind of optimal temperature for an in enclosure. And what you can do to make sure you've got the optimal temperature is literally, you can see my basking light here. Okay, my UVB and UVA. Okay, I adjust it so it's the right height. And I always have a thermometer inside an enclosure just to make sure. So right now it's telling me it's about 35. So it's a bit on the warm side, but They'll be able to cope with it, it'll be fine. It's a warm day, but in general, 30 to 34. Okay guys, before I forget, just go and uh, hit that like, leave a comment if you've got any questions or any questions about this video or any video, and subscribe to stay up, stay tuned for more turtle and tortoise stuff. Maybe a bit, a bit of Eddie in it, if you've seen Eddie, hopefully you'll like him. Okay, hopefully it's not too hard to see the turtle tank. It's very bright in here. Literally the sun is like right in. Okay, it's quite blinding, but First thing to do if your tortoise is overheating, okay, now this is crucial, do not go and stick them in freezing cold water, whatever you do, okay? Do not put ice or freezing cold water on them to try and cool them down, okay? When it comes to reptiles, they're not like mammals, where they're, where they're cold blooded, they warm up by the sun, but they also need to cool down slowly. If they cool down too quickly, they're going to a shock. And um, what happens if they go to a shock? Well, it can be fatal. Their, their body will just shut down completely. Okay, so don't stick them in cold water 
or put ice on them. Don't do anything like that. But what should you do? Well, first thing I would do would be get them out of the sun, get them in some shade, okay? So a nice cool area, get them under a tree, out of direct sunlight, okay? We all know what it's like when you're in direct sun all day, the sun's bearing down on your neck, makes you feel a bit sick, okay? You don't want that, so just get them out of the sun, in the shade, nice and cool area. That's step one. Now step two, okay, for tortoises, this kind of, for turtles and tortoises inside, make sure there's good ventilation, okay? The better the ventilation, the more like hot air can escape from the enclosure. So I always have the shed door on the latch. So air's always circulating in the room, okay? Sometimes I put a fan on and it also helps lower the humidity a little bit, okay? But you always want, as humans, we want fresh air, don't we? It's the same for turtles and tortoises, keeps us healthy, okay? Okay, guys, this may seem really obvious and simple, but I had to do it earlier, okay? So we had this tortoise just here. He was right in the sun and he's flipped on his back. Now, if they're flipped on their back, just flip them straight over, put them straight, okay? If they're struggling, you wanna just have, give, them, give them a helping hand, okay? Because they might be struggling to get back up and if the direct sunlight's on them as well, while they're overheating, it's not really nice, is it? It's like if we were stuck in the heat all day and you couldn't do anything about it, it'd be horrible. So, yeah, just give them a little helping hand. They're always happy to see us, okay? Oh, there's one down there as well. The girl will be somewhere around there. Okay, so it's only a quick video today. So in summary, if your turtle's overheating, make sure you get it to a vet, okay? But steps you can take beforehand, just put it in the shade. Make sure it's got access to some water. Check the temperatures, okay? Might need to, might need to alter them. And um, if they're on their back, flip them over. It's, it's just simple stuff, really. It's just like being a human, yeah? But just do not stick them in cold water or ice straight away, okay? That's a no-go, don't do it, okay? Could be fatal. And if you notice, they're not eating as much where it's quite warm, okay? You probably know why. Maybe feed them when it's slightly cooler in the morning or at night, okay? And go from there. Let me know any questions or if you think I've said anything wrong or anything. Just Leave a comment below and I'll see you next time.